Then we go like that. Back again for the pressure pass again. Last class, we did more when the guy stand up, side back. Today, you go like me and the crowd again. So remember, like the basic idea is when the guy wants to do the pressure pass, he's going to put chest to chest first. So what comes first is his head. Okay. So one thing I need to be careful, I don't want his come back to close to me. Okay. So every time I need to use more frame, for example, and after I can use my foot and the hips to create more distance. I want distance. I want his face being more close to my legs. So here I can have more attack and less pressure. Okay. And I can be more work here. So this is why based in that position, that situation that I don't stand up, the most common way to use is the hook. The way I like more. Or if from here he start chest up again, I can start use half guard. Okay. So the half guard, you can go like here. Remember, you, you, we did some attack inside attacks and we did outside attacks before, yes? So, but the distance is important. The same thing, he's got the pressure here. I don't want to come too close to me, okay, from here. And when I start attack, I need to create a little bit space to feel like. And you, you back again for that same idea before, the hips, under the hips. And I can start attack, can start do like. Any attack you can do it from here, okay? X guard, go sweep. Or you can start with, for example, here and start to attack more than legs. And do more back, that kind of back. Or you can start to use more hooks. Okay. Like I told you, know, give more preference to work more your hooks. Because if you go like half guard in hooks, I think it's more efficient when the guy go really pressure fast, okay? We don't need to be trapped that half guard. So the same idea is coming here. First, I need to be careful with his face, okay? And if it's too much, I can use the foot in the hip to create more distance, but my foot come more here, okay? okay? And then the same thing we talked before, if the hip is too far away from me, it's difficult to sweep, okay? My hips need to be under here. So this some time, I need to wait for him to start passing the guard. This will become more easy to start to lead, okay? Or we can start sit and be more sit. That's when we go through. So the same idea, my idea is to lift him, okay? So I can grab the belt and go here and come close. So my idea is come under him and start to lift him. So he's supposed the arm in the ground here, it's become like that way. And when you start attack again, you know, can go back to the X again, stand up, okay? Anytime, if the guy starts to stand up a little bit, you start to attack around the leg, go under the guy, okay? But the guy in the top, I don't want you to stand up too much. I want you to go like more fresh, fast. So it's more chest first, okay? The chest comes first. The other pass, the leg is more close to you. So you go more under. That I we go more close, fresh, okay? So first, it's not again, it's not this. I want your guy just reveal the technique, you know, for them. Two guards, what's the key? One leg in, turn the side, control one arm, for it's not have the arm there. And I go to the side, lift, see my hips under him, and now I can sweep. At the same. So try remember the, the the pure technique first, the way you did with drill before, it can be the half guard. Just remember the technique if you like more comfort to do it. it. Can be the same technique all time. Okay? So take the partner back and forth. Okay? Just do the, the drill first. Any technique. Next, go for the, the next level. So the level start at the top. Okay, now we start like, first I want you to go tell your guys the way the guy in the top need to move, what your goals, okay? <clears throat> my first goal is every time my weight need to be in my front, need to be in my chest. So for training perspective, no, even if you have like the foot in, in my hips, if I want to play like the game to the, the pressure, I need to project my upper body down okay for you need to take care of my butt okay 
I did be that way. With my first goal. Okay? And now I can start take the foot, for example, sometime. Is my goal is still head to head close. Okay, even if I my knee the ground here, I need to take a little bit, okay? I need to be this. I would be here. Okay. So this is like your first goal is don't let me put my chest in your chest. If I have, you need to start creating space again. Put in the hips and try to put hook something, okay? And my goal is chest to chest. Another goal is trap one leg inside, okay? And another thing what I can try to do is try trap his knee. I want to smash his knee, okay? So for example, I'm here. If he's used the shield here, I can start to use trap the knee. And after you need to do like the same thing we did before. Yeah, stretch the leg again to take out, to put the hook again, start doing. Okay, don't let me trap your knee. So your goal is first, be careful. Don't put my chest in your chest. Don't let me take in half guard. You don't want half, half guard, okay? You don't want half guard. If you go choose for the half guard, you want that kind of half guard, it's okay. You know, you still alive, everything will control. You don't want like that half guard here, okay? You want to avoid this. So keep here. Take the distance first, okay? And another thing what I try to do is I try kill your knee, your legs. Even if you're here or if you have like both, both hook here, the same idea, I can try smash one knee for start test. See, but every time I need to be that way. And he's need free again, come back, create space again, okay? So slowly I want the guy in the top start put pressure. If you're almost the same side, okay, put pressure, okay? Put the pressure there and try create that that gap to put the hook again, they start attack. I want your guy finish the attack, okay? So my goal is not, it's not a game. My goal is not beat him, but my goal is go for that direction so he can be careful that direction, okay? If I stay like this, near the ground all the time, no make any pressure on him, no make sense, okay? If I decide to be here, I need to be here, okay? I need to be, put my weight on him. And from here, your guy starts to see what you can start to do, okay? Slowly, you feel like the guy can do more things, you can start more pressure, more pressure. Smash more than knee, okay? If the guy doesn't understand yet, go slowly, okay? Try slowly, okay? We do it with everybody after, so... It's not about energy, but you need to use a little bit of energy because the pressure needs to be there, okay? So, remain for your guys in the top, start to learn how to project the butt to the weight and you start to understand the balance too. Remember, I don't want your guys to stay too much the knee on the ground, okay? Every time you go here, you already need to take out. You know? I need to make him take care of my weight, okay? So I need all the time to do this. Grab the knee and start attack. If I feel like you start to some attack, sweep me. I, I don't want to like defend 100%, do a... Can do hook If you start to do something, for example, and he's doing something wrong, for example, my head army here when you do hook sweep, you can defend, okay? Do the defense, and after you start, every time when you fail, big fail, you feel like, I I fail, but Start to why there is. Come back, let the guy tell the guy to do the same movement, and now now it's no odds because because you don't control my army. Good. So you come back again, I do the same movement again, and I control my arm good and now Okay? So this is why the awareness needs to be there to see this, okay? The guy in the top, the guy in the bottom. You no, know, try to put like tackle difficult to him and you start to wear you missing. So the guy in the top can tell the guy in the bottom too. You know, something like this. Okay? So don't need to be so fast. Like slowly speed up. Okay? So change the partner. Think what happened then like. Uh, especially when you do like against some somebody like much heavier than you, you really go pressure. You know, the the foot and the hips really you don't even save you. Especially guy like do this the pressure. Like, I know like it's very important the foot and the hips save you. You know, if the guy is really big. But if you stay longer, only this, 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 come in the time when you start becoming higher too, okay? So you start do, you don't have the leg, you don't have an attack, you don't have anything here. And when you start attacking too. So this one, you need to create that space, but after, you need to start changing meaning for one hook. You need to let him come close again. Now you have one weapon to start attacking him. So now it's okay, he's coming close. Okay? Before, for example, you have like a bad situation, start pressuring me too much. Okay, I can put the foot in the hips, but I don't want to stay longer than this. One thing you can do too is stand up and do the Torreon. Now go here and now you don't have anything on this pass. Okay? So don't stay that distance too. When you feel like this is still pressuring you, now you decide to create the hook. Let him come close again, you see? 
first, I want to be here. But I don't, I don't want you to stay be, be here forever because I don't have any attack too. So when he start pressuring me, I let him come close and now I have my hook. So remember, I just don't want his face close to my face. If he's here still, I can still move him in the hips, create distance. And he might start adjust my hips under him to start attack. Right? I have hook here. I have attack to another side because now I start to go my hips more under his hips. The same thing if he had for him to have like both foot, if he's controlled just my, my hips like here, it's still okay. Don't be in panic, okay? The problem is if he's come too high, he's come here, here, and now it's like a little bit more problem, so you need to start to get distance again. But if he's still here, like here, it's okay, stay here, okay? Keep the hook. And now you just start to look for the angle a little bit. You see, here I need, he's more close to me. So this why now I have, I have the hook, I have the belt, I have the arm. So now I want to come close to me. If I say stop him all the time and try from here because I'm too scared to come close to me, it's become too heavy. Okay? A lot of time this happens. You're scared because you know it's come too close, it's not good. And you create distance and now you want to lift from here. No, now you have, let him come close. No? See, more close he's come, more light it's become. Yeah, because the heat is there. Better for you manipulation. Okay, so I want your guys to still, still work the foot, like I say, like even for them, that is them too. It's around smash me. No, it's very important that foot in the hips. Yeah, here, foot in the hips. But if I stay just this, this is still smash my knee. I need let this happen. Yeah, it start past my guard. And now I don't have anything. Yeah, so again, you go like foot in the hips to create a little bit space, take that knee out. Okay. Is it scared because you think it in that situation? You think if you take the knee, you don't have anything to go past or that. But it's not true. Okay? You go here, you have foot in the hip, take out. No, you can attack. No, you can start the right attack. You can choose to go for the hook. And now you, you need to feel comfortable. You need to be comfortable here in the hook guard. Here, the kuzushis come from him. You don't need to like all the time to lift. No, just a little bit. No, just this is enough. Stay here. You're okay. Take your time. Don't get fun. Don't think now I need to sweep. No. Control. Now I'm control. Now I don't put too much pressure. And every time I start to put pressure on me, I still have my vocation be here. And you can start taking control. You can start seat. And I go on that Okay? Remember, put in the heat is very important, but don't be afraid to take out the like it close to your hand. Now when you have a hook, you want to come a little bit more close. Okay? So let's change the target. Let's do a little bit more.